like relatable because you, they're trash yes. too, just like all of yes. us. Exactly. Some stuff I don't. I just want to mind my black owned business. You can't. I don't want to be in. I don't want to be up in everybody else's kitchen. Keep that sh to y'all sales. I'm getting a red table. Right. You should get a red table. Get that table by your goddamn self. Nick Cannon and Jada Pinkett Smith got beef. The infamous red table talk just got canceled by Facebook, and some people are loving it. Honestly, you can't blame them. The show was filled with tons of pointless chaos and drama, hosted by Jada Pinkett Smith. And like many viewers, Nick Cannon and comedian TK Kirkland are also celebrating the end of the circus. They even called out Jada for being the ringleader and that she had it coming. But Jada isn't letting those insults fly. Today, we'll be digging into what she had to say. But before we get into it, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss out on any new videos. It's free and helps us tremendously bring out new content for your enjoyment. News dropped recently that Meta is canceling all of their Facebook watch shows, and that includes Red Table Talk. The scandal-filled, Emmy award-winning show was hosted by Jada Pinkett Smith and her daughter Willow alongside honestly the coolest grandma ever, Adrian Banfield Norris. Apparently, this cancellation is just the tip of the iceberg. Mina Lefebvre, former head honcho in charge of development and programming at Meta, has also left the company. She was part of a recent round of layoffs that wiped out the last of Facebook Watch original programs. Pretty rough week. And now, after five years on the air, Red Table Talk is getting the axe. The show was known for its moments of drama and intrigue. I mean, who could forget that infamous Entanglement episode? But it was probably about time to put the show to bed. It seems like they almost saw it coming too. The show's most recent episode aired way back in December 2022. Deadline is now reporting that the show's producer, Westbrook Studios, is still on the hunt for a new distributor. Good luck, I guess? Honestly though, the cancellation of Red Table Talk is not exactly a tragedy. There are tons of other talk shows out there to pick from that are more relevant and deserving of our attention. But it seems like Jada Pinkett Smith isn't ready to give up on Red Table Talk just yet. In a statement posted on Instagram, the talk show host expressed her gratitude for the past five years of the show and even hinted at that possible comeback. Although we don't really see that coming. Let's call a spade a spade here. We all know that Red Table Talk was on life support over at Facebook. And now that it's been canceled, Pinkett Smith is scrambling to find a new home for her fading talk show. But hey, we can't blame her for trying. And while Jada is really hoping for the show to get a new home, there are others who can't wait to put this whole thing to bed. Take Nick Cannon, for example. After the news broke that Facebook Watch is shutting down and canceling its original programming, Cannon had some choice words to say about the talk show's cancellation. In a recent episode of his show, The Daily Canon, the mass Singer host said that the cancellation of Red Table Talk was good. Meta has shut down Facebook Watch Original, Red Table Talk, <gasps> and others. Yeah. yeah. So there's no more Red Table Talk. But according to Deadline, the series good. producer is shopping the Emmy Stop, Nick. winning series somewhere else, Nick. Going on to say if there was no Red Table Talk, then he, Will Smith, wouldn't have slapped the sh out of Chris Rock. If there was no Red Table Talk, then no, 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 no. But Cannon wasn't done there. The host went off more on Jada and the show. Cannon referred to Red Table Talk as the toxic table. He also implied that Jada Pinkett Smith's openness about her personal life may have caused some of the problems for the Smith family. The table was toxic. They made all the memes about my brother Will on that damn table. They didn't need to do that. According to Cannon, it was Pinkett Smith's decision to discuss her marital issues on the show that led to scrutiny and eventual fallout. And as for that Chris Rock comment, he believes that Red Table Talk is the reason Will slap Chris. He said, That was royalty, Will and Jada. We they were. were. They are. They, they still. brought us to the table. No, 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 no. I don't want to know all this it's about y'all. He also added, I just want to mind my black owned business. You can't I don't mind wanna be when in, they start I don't want to be up in everybody else's kitchen. Keep that sh to y'all sales. And for a second there, we thought that there would be some tension brewing between Nick Cannon and his co-host, Abby De La Rosa, over their differing opinions on Red Table Talk and the Smith family. Abby did push back, defending the show and its host, Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow Smith, and Adrian Banfield Norris. According to her, Red Table Talk was an honest table that made the Smith family more relatable and human to viewers. That yes, like the Smiths are trash too, like the rest of us. It is not, it's an honest table. It feels like human, like they're human. And it feels like relatable because they're trash too, just like all of us. Exactly. And Nick isn't the only one to feel this way about the show. TK Kirkland also feels pretty strongly about it. 
During a recent podcast, the comedian said he was happy the show was over and said that social media has given ignorant people a space at a table with intelligent ones. Basically saying how social media has put ignorant people and children at the table with um, intelligent people. Referring to how Jada and her circus was given the platform to talk about petty things. He even added that they don't have sufficient experience to be talking about all the things they discuss. He kept mentioning how he's never watched the show, only caught a couple glimpses, but he couldn't stand it. Like anybody now can voice an opinion, and some people don't have enough experience to voice an opinion. I, and I've never watched it, I've seen a glimpse of it. When the interviewer told him how Nick Cannon felt the same way, TK said he agreed with him. You're right, Nick Cannon, he said it was toxic, yo. Mm-hmm, yes, I, I, I can believe that. TK also added that during the whole phases when she was bringing down Will on her show, he would often want to talk to Will and ask him. When Will and Jada was having problems, and he would go on there based on infidelity, and she would make him look bad. And all I used to kept saying to myself, like, yo, you don't want to knock this in the head? That's how, that's how I felt. He also said that Jada was playing Will, adding that they should have cut the cameras, cleared it up personally, and came back on air instead of airing their dirty laundry. Because she was playing them, and everybody was following Jada's lead. I like, cut the motherfucking lights off. Oh, camera, get, get through this shit off. You know what I'm saying? And I would say what I had to say, and then we could have came back on the air. And it seems as though the internet also agrees. This one person tweeted in response to the show being canceled. Good, Red Table Talk and Jada placated too many racist white women and toxic black men. Why allow Jane Elliott to call herself a faded black woman on your show above Chelsea Handler for her racist comedy or bring T.I. on to say his wife should accept his cheating? Another added, Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk canceled. Now she's gonna have to discuss her personal business like everybody else while sitting behind me at the movies. One more person said, I do find the Red Table Talk Willow Smith instantly racist against Asian Americans. Like how dare you speak about Asians taking black businesses? Let's try not to do what racist white people do, especially blaming another race for a job they frankly don't wanna do. And finally, this person said what everyone had been thinking. Glad that the Red Table Talk is canceled. Finally, Jada is not being rewarded for her bad behavior anymore. So it looks like the debate over Red Table Talk and the Smith family is starting to heat up. Will they find a new spot for the show? I mean, it kind of depends on if a network is down for that kind of drama. Cannon wasn't wrong when he called it toxic. On it, Jada revealed she had cheated on Will without even telling him first. And I think everyone remembers that meme of Will sitting there with that pained look on his face. If you really love your significant other, would you cheat on them, then admit it on national television? Yeah, probably not. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.